All right, so good morning, everybody. We are live at 102.4 Emory Sports in Atlanta. I'm Brandon Lodori, along with my partners, James Sasser and Tucker Lewis. Today, we'll be talking about Heisman hopefuls, the season so far for the Atlanta Braves, and some NBA free agency. James, let me ask you first. You know, the Atlanta Braves, they've had a very rough season, falling last night to Cincinnati Reds. They've dropped now 30 games below 500. Give, give me your thoughts on how they've been performing this year. Yeah, so far this year, they're not doing so well. Uh, pitching, it, it needs to be a little better. So far, we have one bright spot, Julio Tehran. He's doing all right. Uh, the bats really aren't there. We have some young players. We have a lot of young players in the minor leagues. Everyone around here keeps saying that we want to call them up. But, but right now, I think that's a little too early. Uh, if you want to call us today, call us at 678-316-1388. Back to you. Tucker, let me ask you, the MLB trade deadline is within a week away. Do you think Atlanta needs to maybe trade someone or pick someone up? Um, I think the Braves need to uh, trade Arodis Viscaino, uh, A.J. Przinsky, and Jeff Francoeur. A lot of people say uh, um, Julio Tehran has been on the, is on the trade block, but I think that would just be dumb for them to trade him because the Braves say they want young pitching. And he All right, let me interrupt you pitching. for a minute. We have our first caller. Can you please list your name and your location? Yes, this is John from Atlanta. I just I want to know what the, uh, what the Braves plan to do during the deadline. All right, so John, your question is what you plan on the Braves doing through the deadline. Well, rumors are that they may go uh, buying for a catcher like Jonathan LaCroix, but I think that's a bad deal. Uh, we, we don't really need a catcher right now. Uh, Tyler Flowers is on the DL. And AJ Pierzynski is is in his last year, so we just need to keep that there, and hopefully we can find a, a new catcher next year. Tucker, you have anything to go with that? Um, I think the Braves should look at Brian McCann. He's a hometown favorite. Um, it would bring fans to the stadium, the new stadium opening up next year. I think that'd be a good move to get fans in the in the seats, and he's what we need a good catcher with power hitting. We have our second caller from Philly. Hey, this is Jeremy, guys. I love the show. You guys hear me? We can, Jeremy. Here's my question. Everybody's talking about what the Braves should do right now. How about talking about how this mess happened? The Braves are one of the greatest franchises in sports. They won 14 straight divisional titles, managers of the year, MVPs, rookies of the year, great pitching staff. This program, this team is a disaster. How did this happen? Well, Jeremy, that's great feedback from you. Um, we had one great season in 2013 uh, with talents like Jason Hayward, the, uh, both the Upton brothers, Justin and BJ, and uh, quality catcher Evan Gaddis. But John Hart had some other ideas. He wanted to get some pitching in there. So he traded Evan Gaddis and my, for Mike fulton with the Houston Astros. So we got a quality pitcher there, but he's, he's really pitcher heavy, so that was what he was thinking to do back then. Keep in mind when the Braves made these moves, these players were all one year from free agency and they wanted to get some get something for them, knowing that they couldn't afford all of them. Uh, James, got anything else? Well, that's tough. Um, I really do enjoy that season we had back then, but right now I think we need to be the bottom dwellers of the NL East and hope for a few good seasons next year. Thanks for taking my call, guys. Thanks, Jeremy. Okay. Great information. Brandon, back to you. All right, so now let's start talking about some Heisman hopefuls. As we know, last year, Derrick Henry from Alabama winning. Now he's off to the NFL. Uh, James, let me start with you. Do you have any, like, top three, maybe top five Heisman hopefuls for this year's college football season? Well, you can't count out Christian McCaffrey running back from uh, Stanford. He's uh, one of the best players in the NCAA right now, and he led last year for all-purpose yards. Tucker? Uh, Leonard Fournette is a big name. He could lead LSU to an SEC title, hopefully, if they can get some quarterback play. Um, uh, Deshaun Watson out of Clemson is a big name that could win it. He led his team to a national title last year. And a dark horse for me is Bo Scarborough, the running back that's taking over Derrick Henry's spot at Alabama next year. Um, he hasn't played much, but he's an Alabama running back, and they're known for winning Heismans. All right, so with that, we're going to wrap this thing up live from 102.4 Emory Sports in Atlanta. I'm Brandon Lodori, along with my partners James Sasser and Tucker Lewis. Thank you, and have a good night.